Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456. As you guys know, it is that time of year again. It is Call of Duty time, and it's time to get hyped about the next Call of Duty, because this one, I mean, it's only been teased, but it looks ab absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna be going over everything that you guys probably already know, all the all the stuff that was updated, the website, all that stuff, and then a lot of stuff that you guys probably don't know. It's a lot of information that has kind of been put together, some stuff that has been like, oh wow, this guy was actually telling the truth, uh, including some of the actors, some Kevin Spacey stuff. But uh, I'm really, really excited to share all with you guys and some of the file names some of the websites all that stuff and let's go ahead and jump right into it so what you're seeing on your screen right now is actually what they uploaded to the new call of duty site i'll have that link in the description down below along with the link to everything else so you can go and check out all my sources there but basically this is all that shows up it looks kind of like a soldier running through a desert type scene now we tried to piece together the images kind of remove the blurs and make it make it actually like seeable but as we quickly found out we basically would have had to go through and change every single pixel to the guest the guesstimate spot of where it might go and that would have taken around seven or eight hours and that might not even come up with an image that makes any sense at all so we decided not to do that so unfortunately there's no deciphering of this image however there are three different links hidden inside of this image that link to different private military contractors and that was actually revealed a little bit later today and uh, I'm gonna be covering that as well but basically you can check that check out those articles they're really really interesting articles about uh, private mili military contractors and that was kind of the hint to the trailer that we got later today so the next Next thing that came up was this image from Game Informer. They got an exclusive image, kind of like IGN got the very first image ever from the game. Game Informer got this image exclusively, and basically, as you can see in the picture, it looks like they're in some sort of exoskeletal suits, and this looks like it is uh, slightly in the future. It doesn't look like it's super, super futuristic. However, exoskeletal suits do do suggest that it's a little bit in the, the future. These things actually exist in combat. They, they aren't used just because they're not like the most efficient things. They're very, very expensive, but exoskeletal skeletal suits do exist in real life and this is kind of like a hint to what is to come and uh, basically this is all the information we have about this image but looking into the source coding of this image it was actually uploaded as blacksmith actual full-size image so basically this image was named blacksmith whenever it was sent to game informer so pretty much that confirms that uh, we were right on the leaked the the kind of co code name of the next call of duty is blacksmith we don't think that the actual name will be blacksmith just because every single call of duty has had a code name that's usually been figured out but it does kind of confirm that blacksmith is the is the code name of this next call of duty and uh, that's basically all the information we got from this image so the next thing up that we got was a brand new call of duty logo and the world reveal kind of image here as you can see on the call of duty logo there's two little lines in between call and duty and that's really the only <laughs> the only change that we had on this image however it does look very very cool and it kind of shows that there is a new era but anyway in the background you can see the golden gate bridge which is based in san francisco so maybe this is a hint that this will be partly at least partially taking place in uh, in the United States, which is uh, usually pretty pretty not normal for uh, any sort of war game. It usually takes place in a foreign country. However, Golden Gate Bridge is in the background, so I'm definitely excited to see what's going on with that. So the next thing that we got was a documentary style YouTube video that was talking about private military corporations and how much influence they have, how much power, and how much spending, and how big the corporations are that actually own these private military contractors. And this kind of leads me to believe that the next Call of Duty is going to be based around these private military contractors and corporations just saying, hey, why don't we just take over? Because the governments who, who would try to stop us, we fight for them. We are their army. So what can they do to stop us if, if we're the ones who fight for this? It, it says things like 62% of the troops in Afghanistan were paid off contractors. Really, really interesting stuff, and there's actually an image in this trailer where a guy is uh, shooting the gun, and it actually matches up very, very closely to uh, to whoever's in the background of this image that we believe to be a Sergeant Foley. We're not completely sure on this, but uh, I just thought the, the facial recognition, the beanie, everything was pretty similar in this image. So this might be our character model. This might be our in-game person who is actually using the, uh, their voice and character model to kind of film the cutscenes, stuff like that. So uh, that that'd be really interesting to see. That's not confirmed in any way, shape, or form. That's just something that I noticed personally that I thought would be uh, interesting to throw in here. So getting to the end of this information here, the next thing up is basically a post that was posted a couple of months ago on March 7th that said, next COD rumored to be blacksmith featuring Kevin Spacey and a crisis style exoskeleton suit from what I heard. Anyone know anything else? Now, no one really talked about this at all. Charlie Intel recent, recently resurfaced this. It was just some random user on a forum who posted this. But uh, let's take a look at what we have here. A crisis style exoskeleton suit, which is exactly what we see in this picture that, uh, that was brought up earlier. Next thing is the blacksmith. This 
has been basically been confirmed by multiple sources now, including the people who actually talked to Sledgehammer, got an image from the game. It's all been confirmed as the codename Blacksmith. So this guy, a couple months ago, actually was posting about this. And what, the interesting piece of information, what we didn't know, is that he said featuring Kevin Spacey. So this is really, really interesting information about who might be the primary villain, who possibly might be uh, one of the good guys. He's a, an amazing, amazing voice actor, Kevin Spacey is. And uh, here's a picture of him if you didn't know who he is. You probably have recognized him just because he's a pretty famous actor. He's on uh, House of Cards, stuff like that. It's just a great show, by the way. Just really love House of Cards. But uh, anyway, that's some interesting information that we didn't know that is uh, basically confirmed true just because this guy seems to know something that uh, the rest of us don't, or at least he knew something all the way back then on March 7th. So uh, that's, a, that's about going to wrap up all this information, guys. This was a lot of stuff to throw at you. So links will be in the description down below if you want to go check out more. Just be sure to go follow me on Twitter, uh, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff, and leave a like on this video if you did enjoy it. It'd be very much appreciated, and you can definitely keep up with me uh, whenever whenever I post something new or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is NoJ456. I will see you in the next video, and goodbye.